This is the grave of a young man who died fighting a long way from home. Costa Scurfield, once a proud soldier with the British Royal Marines, he gave up his official military career last year and travelled to Syria to fight ISIS. He was killed in battle four months ago. I'm crying for my loss, not his. But I think that's my right. His parents are grieving, but also proud. He was brave, very brave. A lot braver than 99% of the people in the world, I think. On this day, they're visited by people who knew their son in Syria. Jack Holmes and Mesa Gifford, both British, and American Jordan Madsen. Like Costa, they left their homes to join a fight they had no previous connection to. Costa went out to help people. He went to say that they have a democratic right uh, to live however they want to. So um, he died for, for, for democratic principles, for British values and, and for freedom. They came here to fulfil Costa's wish, to bring home a captured ISIS flag for his former colleagues in the Marines. My brother never got to complete that mission, so I'm going to help him do it. CNN first met Jordan Matson in Syria last October, where he was making light of the challenges. The second day in, I got hit by a, a mortar in my, <laughs> on a fight. But nine months later, standing by his friend's grave in central England, he's overwhelmed by emotion. When his own nation wasn't willing to step up and do something, he did. So I think it's an honor to have known him. Jordan and Costa, both in this photo, were fighting in northern Syria with a militia known as the YPG. Their local Kurds fighting to drive ISIS from their towns and villages. They're most famous for the Battle of Kobani, where international air power helped them push ISIS out of this key town by the Turkish border. And they've since continued to make significant gains through the region. These men say there are currently around 50 people from Western countries fighting with the Kurds, and they're grateful. And when it's someone that's not even from that community that was willing to come and then paid the ultimate price, uh, that's not something they're going to forget, neither will I. Costa Schofield's grave, his parents' grief, are proof of the risks these men have taken. But they say his death makes them more determined to return to Syria soon and rejoin the fight against ISIS. Phil Black, CNN, London.